everybody this is crystal and today I'm here with another design team project um, for these I'm gonna make bottle tag holders and I'm using these cute little sparkling cider bottles that I got and these are be cute for little um, projects for a teacher or a co-worker or even to have on the table at Christmas or a Christmas party um, for this project, I'm going to be using the stamp set, Sweet Stuff, and I'll be using the one that says Holiday Treats, and I'm also going to be using the stamp set, Christmas Penguins, and I think I'm going to be using this one here with the little bobbles hanging off his, his little antlers, but you could use any of these um, penguins, they'd all be cute for the project. Um, for this project too, you're going to need a piece of white cardstock. I'm actually going to be using a piece of red cardstock that is three inches by six inches, scored at three and a half. And then another piece of white cardstock, which is just like an eighth of an inch smaller. So it should. Well, I'll have all the measurements on my blog, so um, or down below in the comments, so you don't have to worry about it. You'll also need like a, a one and a half inch punch or just a one and a half inch circle. You can use it on your um, Cricut. You could draw a one and a half inch circle, trace a pattern on a piece of cardboard, and put it on there, or you could use a die cut. You know, whatever. You could even use a scallop circle. You know, whatever you have. Just use whatever you have. Um, so, those are... Oh, and I also use um, these... This is optional. These little elastics. They're seven fifty in here. I got them for like a dollar. I also have a treat bag that I'll be using, which is like four and a quarter and... I don't know what the length of it is, but it has a gusset in it. I also have some um, curling ribbon. Um, I will be using the green, the red, gold, and silver for this project. Um, I also have um, some of these uh, little bows that come in this little container. I'm not sure which color I'll use yet, but we have these that we're going to add. And of course, our trusty art glitter glue. And some black Versafine ink. And our Specklemore markers. So let's get started making this project. As you see, I already cut this, and you can tell, too, my blade is kind of dull, and so I leave these little fibers. If you ever have this problem, this is an um, eraser. It takes um, glue off of stuff. Not our art glitter glue, but like if you use a tape runner, it'll take it off. But it also works great for getting off these frayed edges. So you can just kind of, this is what I use mine for all the time. I have some more blades on order, but that's something I should always keep an extra one in stock, but I've been so busy I didn't even think about it, but this will help get rid of those little frayed edges for you. Give it more of a clean look. Okay, now I'm going to be using my Misty. There, I think that will work. That'll work great. I'll fold this. I'll grab my smaller magnets off the back. And as you see, I put washi tape on my magnets because it makes it a lot easier to pull them apart. Mm. 
I like to have my magnets as close in as I can. That way it definitely holds the paper down. Okay. Now we'll just stamp this up. And the reason why I'm using my Misty Chew is because I'll be making several of these. And I want it all to be in the same place. And I want it to be perfect. I don't have time to have my ink stamps not come out great. That looks good, but I think I want a little bit more. Just a little the penguin to be just a little bit blacker. There. There we go. I think he looks good. And see if I was going to do more right now, I would just stick another piece in here and then I'd keep stamping. But for now, I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to let that dry. In the meantime, I'll be taking my one and a half circle punch, or you can draw a circle on here, trace it around. I think, yeah, your art glitter glue would be perfect. You could trace a circle around it and use it. Or maybe just a little bit smaller. Um, you have like washi tape. Um, just um, measure different things and see what you can find. All right, and I'm kind of kind of centering this. Punch it out. And if it's not perfect, it's no big deal. Now I'm going to um, color him. I think I'm going to use some some red and some orange and blue. Because I'm only going to color his bobbles and his his nose. So, got this orange. Nope. I don't think I want that big of a one. Okay. And here's the colors that I used um, to paint it with, in case you're interested. And then I'm taking some glossy accents, which maybe has a product to, which is um, by Nuvo, which is similar to this. I went to order it and she was out, so I had to go back to my I had to go back to my old uh, glossy accents from Ranger. Just put a little bit here. I want to make it a little shiny. Put it there. Put this here. There we go. Just to, it gives it a nice little touch. Um, you use very little of it. It does take a little while to dry. So if you're in a hurry, you may not want to use it. I'm going to take and dry it with my heat gun. I think it looks really cute. Now we'll take our bottle. Hopefully I'm still in camera view. Where is the sweet spot? Right here it looks like. Okay. So and then we will hang this tag on here like this. 
but we will first we'll just stick him in a bag. Because we want to protect our all of our little work that we've done and we don't want it to get mangled and mutilated. And I'll tell you, I did these for a craft project at the school. And instead of using bottles of uh, juice like this and glass bottles, I used um, pop bottles of hand cream and and uh, fancy soaps. Okay, let's squish this around. I took one of those little rubber bands, and you see how little they are? I mean, they stretch a mile. And it's just kind of... You don't need these, but, you know, it just adds as is an extra hand so you can kind of adjust this however you want it. It's already cute I think as it is. And then I'm going to take a piece of curling tape. I got my silver and gold. take a piece that's probably at least 24 inches or more I mean you can't use too much of this ribbon I'll tell you and it just adds the pizzazz and then you want to take and get it about halfway here and then just tie it around your bottom oh Shoot, I forgot something. I wasn't done with this. I forgot something. Good thing I checked it now. Um, I'm just going to add my little ribbon. My little bow. Which I think is these little cute little ribbons. I was going to add one right here. I don't like this sticking up. I think it's... There, I think it looks better without it. And... These things just peel off and they stick. Now, if you're not too worried about it, this is fine. I know when I did it for the project for school, I put some hot glue on it because I wasn't going to be able to have hot glue or anything there, no electricity to fix anything. So I just went ahead and hot glued it to make sure it stayed. Now we'll put it back in here. ahead of myself here. Okay. Now before that put that just kind of that look good. Alright now I'm gonna take my curling ribbon and I'll find this about the center of them. And then I'm going to tie it around with them. And another trick, too. You know, you tie it, you go under and over. Well, if you want it to stay an anchor, go under and over one more time. This is what you can you do on packages and everything else. So, you see I went over and under. And what you do is you pull it tight. And it stays that way. It doesn't loosen off on you. But I'm just going to tie another just regular knot here on top of it. And pull it tight. And then I know it looks way too long. But we'll take our scissors. And we'll just curl our ribbons. Give it a nice curly do here.
if it's not curled enough, you can always back up, go back over it and curl it again. And I've got another. Okay, I found the other piece that we need. And, and it's all I did was take a piece of red curling ribbon and I put it through a shatterproof bob, bobble. You can get these really cheap in, about anywhere. And I tied a knot on it so it would stay that way. And I'll just wrap it around back over here once. And then I'll come back over and I'll tie it again here so it'll stay. And then I'll take my curling, my scissors, and I'll curl it too. And you always want to do this on the wrong side of the ribbon. So. Just kind of mess with your ribbons a little bit. Because um, you want them to be individual curls. Sometimes they want to curl inside each other. But I think it looks better when they're like their own individual curls. So just play with it. But anyway, how cute of a project is that for a co worker? And it's quick and it's simple and it's easy and cheap to make. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And please share me on your Facebook page. Bye for now. Happy crafting.